Next question is from GIAC72. What are some specific exercises that will help build the muscles of your core like every other muscle in your body? So build, so I'm assuming they're talking about actually making them bigger like and stronger. adding resistance, yeah, yeah. That, that's what I'm picturing. You know, most most effective, because in the past, um, you know, I trained my body, and then when I would do my core, I believed the myth that the core needed to be trained with high reps, mm -hmm. um, not use any resistance. And what would happen is I would get down to like 8% body fat, 9% body fat, and if I flexed my abs – you could see that I had a six pack, but if I didn't flex my abs, you couldn't see that I had a six pack. And I was really envious of you know certain people who seem to have six packs without flexing at all. And I thought, God, do I have to get like mm. super shredded for that to happen? Um, and then years later, it dawned on me: well, I don't have muscular abs or obliques, so they're not going to show um, unless I get super, super unhealthily lean. They're not going to show because they're not built. So let me train them like I would train my biceps or my shoulders or my chest to grow. And so I started doing high tension or what you call high resistance exercises. So like one of my favorite exercises is a, a decline sit-up, mm -hmm. a slow decline sit-up or a slow incline reverse crunch. If there's resistance that the body is providing, you're at an incline or a decline, and you're having to really work the abs with you know lower reps, eight reps, 12 reps, um, and it was like night and day, man. My abs went from not visible to then I had a six pack at eleven percent body fat because I built. Well, them. and I'm I'm kind of hesitant to just say just throw weights, you know, on these crunches or throw weights on like your leg lifts or if you're not recruiting properly first. That it's so dependent on that the the core. Uh, you can get a lot of good resistance just from uh, angles and and with yes. gravitational forces with with your core, uh, but you definitely can add weight. I would just highly uh, suggest uh, make sure that you know you're recruiting the way you should and not like incorporating a lot of your hip flexors involved. Uh, with your crunches. Well, Doug, aren't, aren't we practically giving our no BS six pack away with the, the anabolic this month? Yeah, we are. We yeah. are. We yeah. have a special with anabolic and no BS six pack. Uh, what is it? $59.95. Yeah, let's see. Maps URL, October. Maps October .com, yeah. 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 So, I mean, and it, yep. both, it covers what you both are saying right now. So, Justin brought up a good point about making sure that. You know your your recruitment pattern is right, and you're not uh, using like your hip flexors to, for the movement. So stuff in there that's going to help you. Uh, some of the exercises that Sal you alluded to, they're in there. So uh, I mean that's a no brainer to me is to to have that. So if you don't have that, I would get that. If you don't are not in the place to be able to get that, uh, I would search on our YouTube. So Mind Pump TV, we've got a ton of different exercises uh, for the core and for abs. Those are some of the most popular it, videos that we've done. You know, what's funny about this too, is that, uh, when I've trained, um, I God, this is probably nine to 10 times. If I train someone that talks about wanting their abs to be more obvious or to stand out more. So I said, okay, we're going to build them. I'll watch them do exercises that they do 30 reps with. So I'll watch them do like a physio ball crunch. I'll change their form. And all of a sudden it's a high resistance, high tension exercise, right. a physio ball crunch done properly mm -hmm. with your low back on top of the ball, your hips pinned to the top, you're wrapping your back around the ball when you go down, then you slowly come up, push the hips up while you squeeze so that your hip flexors don't take over. You're not sinking your hips. Very few people can do more than 15 reps doing it that way. And if you need more resistance, arms above your head. straighten your arms out above your head yeah, and long, long lever it. All of a sudden, it's a it's a high tension, high resistance exercise that builds the abs, even though it's you're not holding any weight at all. So a lot of it has to do with form. Leg raises, I never see anybody do those right. I mean, no. if you do a leg raise properly and your your pelvis is is tilting at the top, or you're actually doing like a reverse crunch at the top, you find me someone that could do more than 10 reps of doing that properly. It's very, very difficult. Yeah.